Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your oh, weekly singles love reading for Leo. How are you guys this week, Leo? See what's happening for single Leos. New love prospects, connections, your next date. New love prospects and connections. For Leo singles in their love life. There we go. So we have three of swords. So there's been some heartache, deep emotional pain. So some of you have had some heartache. Okay. Yeah. Often it's just a fear of being hurt again. Let's have a look. Four of swords. So there's the healing. Releasing all this negativity. Taking a break. Okay. Clearing out all this negative energy. So it looks like there's been a little bit of break. Some time to heal. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. And we have the lovers, yeah. So it's taking a break, I feel. So I do see healing. Okay, I see making some kind of a choice. So we have, yeah. So there's been misaligned values between you and another person. These cards have two sides. So whatever side comes up, yeah. So it looks like there's two people who just, you know, didn't see aligned. You didn't have the same values. So there was an energy of just taking a break and healing from this situation. So I do feel there's been some heartache. We'll see. Yeah. So now you have time to celebrate. Looks like you've you've gone through a healing. So it looks as though you have some kind of choice in love here. I see three of cups and it's in the positive. So it is the time to celebrate. So I see dating, getting to know somebody or just meeting someone through your social circle. Okay. Online or off. Leo. Yeah, beautiful. Four of Wands, celebrating union. It looks like you've gone through a healing. Okay, there's been some kind of a break here. I've been heartache, but I feel this is a past energy. So there's a choice. Looks like you've got some love coming in. I see Four of Wands, a celebration, connecting with someone. You could connect with someone at a, mar um, at a wedding, a party, a celebration, someplace in your social circle or your community. Now, Four of Wands is also a house and a home. Okay, but there's some reason to celebrate. Why? Because you're over a situation. So you have choices here. Yeah, maybe even a couple. We'll see. Yeah, seven of wands, something worth fighting for. Is someone here who feels this is something worth fighting for? Now, that's the way I always see that seven of swords. It's an energy of a person who thinks, okay, uh, someone who thinks before they rush into a situation. So someone is choosing their battles. Now, this could be yourself, Leo, or somebody else who's gone through this energy. But there's very positive energy. I definitely see the energy of three. There may have even been a third party. Maybe that's what you're healing from. But it's about choosing your battles. It's about choosing uh, the right person. There it is. Yeah, You've had a tough time in your love life. Queen of Cups, a little Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It doesn't mean you have it in your chart, but it's the energy of someone who's had a tough time. But look at that. Creative idealist. So this is an energy of being open to love. I do feel like you've healed. Okay, being emotionally mature, beautiful energy, choosing your battle. So you're going to make better, wiser choices. But I feel there's someone around you in your social circle here. Could live in the same building as you or in your neighborhood, your social circle. <laughs> Somebody's doing some thinking here. Beautiful. Yeah, Ace of Swords, awareness. So it's an energy of being aware. You may be aware of this, but it's somebody who's aware of you. This healing, this beautiful emotional energy. Now, this healing is also with the Queen of Cups is not giving so much of yourself, not acting like the wife until you are. OK, that's the energy because we know the Queen of Cups loves to nurture and care for people, loves to nurture. Right. But sometimes people take advantage. So really watch that. But I do see the healing, the release of all this energy and some kind of a pause here. Yeah, some of you have taken a break, but it could be another person. You know, I'm asking who's around you, someone in your social circle, in your community, someplace where you go, in your neighborhood, like I say, or a building, or you met this person at a at a wedding, a baby shower, you know, things like that. Any place where it's uh, very positive and emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, two of wands. Uh-huh, there it is, charting a course. So this is a life path, making a choice. So it looks like you have some choices to make. I feel like you're ready to go off on a new path. I feel there's somebody here who I feel like you're probably aware someone could be checking you out here. It's an energy of somebody wanting to approach you. 
Okay. Some of you are ready to go down a new path, but I feel like you're going to make better choices. Okay. You're not going to rush into things. You're not going to rush in without thinking. Okay. But I feel like you have a person here who's in that energy. Yeah. And I dropped a card. Let me see what it is. Ah, you've got the Hierophant. So there we have it. Religious tradition. So someplace where you go, where you, that's a habit, a tradition. Okay. It's also about morals and values. So this has to do with somebody who's on the same page. They have the same morals and values. The Ace of Swords is success, but it's an energy of awareness and insight going, aha, right? So there it is. So this is where I feel like you may have learned something yourself here. It has to do with when you're just not on the same page with someone. See, they don't have the same morals and values. So it looks like you're headed down another path here. Ooh, definitely. I'm going to use these smaller cards. Let's have a look at this Three of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, grounded, practical, sensible, oh, marriage material. You've got someone around you, somebody who's decisive. They're thinking things through. This is something worth fighting for. Somebody is seeing you as uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is a person who makes people feel, feel very comfortable, someone who has a comfortable home, okay? Somebody who's focused on their finances, a person who's very balanced. So I feel like you've got a person here. I do see some Taurus energy. You may have it in your chart or you have a person here with that energy. But yeah, someone's seeing you as marriage material here. They're seeing you as somebody who's grounded and, and uh, focuses on their money, somebody who's stable. So likely a person checking you out, somebody here who wants to approach you. Yeah, we have the high priestess, trust your intuition. You probably know who this is. You'll go, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I feel you've had a situation here with someone where you're just not on the same page. Okay, you're just not on the same page. It could be anything with the hierophant. It could be uh, their habits, traditions, just the way they conduct themselves, you know, around their friends, their family, you know, uh, you know, or somebody who wasn't faithful. So this is the energy of not losing faith, though. I feel like you, you've got this choice. Tell me about the seven of wands. Yeah, justice, some Libra. So it is an energy of somebody here who probably didn't come in right, but this is yourself doing what's right for you. It has to do with marriage and commitment. Somebody sees you as... Um, I mean, this could have been a marriage. Maybe there was a divorce where you rushed into it even knowing things, something didn't feel right. Okay, so definitely lessons learned, but it has to do with marriage, commitment, balance, being fair. So someone is definitely, I feel, doing some thinking here, becoming decisive. It's a person choosing their battles. This is something worth fighting for, you see? Somebody here is definitely looking at this, but it has to do with this person coming in right. See, it's whether someone's right for you or not. See, you've had choices, maybe made some choices that weren't right. Okay, the Queen of Cups often, like I say, is someone who's had a tough time in their love life. Yeah, I feel like you, you've got a choice to make here. Let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. There's definitely a Libra, Pisces energy here as well, Leo. Yeah, see, there's the energy of change. See, it's an energy of change, moving on. So beautiful, beautiful energy. It's also a lot to do with uh, your own yeah, inner growth, okay? So you've got, gone through a lot of change. I actually see you focusing a lot on finances here. But I see friends and family, okay? I see people in your community around you. I do feel there's someone here who you know. You probably know you're likely going to go, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like you're just on a different path. There's someone here that you don't have faith in or somebody wasn't faithful. Okay, there's the two of wands again. See, making a choice, a life path. It's how someone conducts themselves. You see, it has to do with someone who didn't want to take things to the next level. You weren't on the same page. Let's have a look at the two. There it is, the cycle ending. See, this is where things start shifting in your favor, choosing the right path. I feel like there's a person here who wants things to go in their favor. Um, who is this person? They definitely look like they could have Libra or Pisces in their chart. Let's have a look at the Seven of Wands. There we go. Yeah, little Aries energy, someone taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Now, if you've taken a risk before and rushed into a situation, a marriage, a relationship, 
this is the lessons you're likely learning, okay? So I definitely see the energy of moving on, going down a new path. But I feel like there's an Aries energy here, someone who wants to take a leap of faith. This is someone who's thinking things through, whether you're right. It's about making that move, coming in right. So there we have the magician. Someone's manifesting. There we are, Leo. Yeah, you're manifesting. You're very powerful here. You know what you want. You're not settling. So you've rushed into something before. But I feel like you have a person who's ready to take a leap of faith. I mean, it could be yourself leaving something behind. But I feel like somebody here is looking at you as just right. It's about coming in right and being fair. Marriage material. See? So justice is about to go in your favor. If some of you have been divorced and you've rushed into a relationship, you'll never settle for that again. Okay? You know what you want here. So it's an energy of moving on. But I see a lot of growth, maybe even financial. I love that we have three queens here. You know, one of these people actually could be part of a third party. So... We'll just, we'll dig into that a little bit here. But I feel this cycle is ending. See, you're going off on a whole new path. There's someone here you're just not on the same page with. It's lifestyle habits. You want someone you're on the same page with, with the same values, morals, lifestyle. See, it could be someone checking you out how you conduct yourself publicly. They're seeing the Queen of Pentacles, somebody very gracious, very calm, focused on money, very grounded, see, very balanced person. This is what somebody is seeing here. Let's have a look at this world. Yeah, there it is. See, we've got people in your social circle. See, a lot of change. Maybe some of you may have even moved, relocated, maybe to a new home. But I feel this it's an energy of a social circle, like-minded people. See, socializing. This is family and friends. I actually feel that, you know, this path that you're on, things are actually really going to go in your favor, Leo. I feel like you have somebody with Aries in their chart. Okay. You may actually have a lot of fire, but it's that path that you're on. See, choosing your battles, making choices, becoming decisive. You're going to tr learning to trust your intuition as well. But I feel like you already know someone here. You already know somebody here is checking you out. They're going to approach you. They're hoping things go in their favor. Yeah, you're just kind of waiting, just looking out there waiting. You see, but I feel like your ship's about to come in. <laughs> Somebody around you. Yeah. Let's have another look at the Three of Cups. It's not showing who this person is. And usually when it doesn't quite show exactly who they are, uh, it tells me they're not quite ready to make a move. Okay? Because it has to do with change and timing. This is somebody here. They want things to definitely go in their favor. There's no doubt. But the Two of Wands, you see? It's here twice. You and another person going off on a path. If you've been, if you actually have been dating someone, they're, they're looking at how you conduct yourself around the friends and family, see, out in public, seeing how you behave. They're seeing you as emotionally mature, available, somebody who people like, so very, someone who's, uh, is liked by other people. Yeah. But your ship's about to come in. Some of you have been looking out there, kind of just waiting for that right person. Has to do with the timing, again, with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, you've got an opportunity coming in, looking at the details. So if someone's going to approach you, I see you getting some kind of communication here. But you're just grounding yourself and looking at it. Has to do with the life path and a choice. Yeah, you got a King of Pentacles. So we have a power couple. Oh, very nice. This is two people focused on money, like to plan ahead for the future and prepare. So this is a person who's making some kind of plans. See, they're stable, they're grounded, they're practical. You could be checking each other out. You both are seeing kind of the same thing. <laughs> Tell me about the lovers. Little Gemini here. Yeah, see, moving away to avoid a disaster. Some of you may be moved on, maybe even relocated maybe to another community close by. I, I see some really positive energy, but the fact that the Queen of Wands is here with the Queen of Pentacles shows me you're grounded and stable. You're learning to trust your intuition. I actually feel like you already know who this person is. They've checked you out. You've checked them out. Okay. If this hasn't happened yet, or maybe you won't even, I feel like you're going to have that aha moment. Okay, I feel like you're going to have that moment where you go, aha, I know who this is. <laughs> They're a friend of so-and-so or I was at this place, you see. But I feel what's going to happen for most of you is you're going to see the truth. Okay, 
know, someone here is just not on the same page with. There's been some heartache, but I feel like you it's a healing. See, taking a break, you know, taking the lessons you've learned, see, moving on. But it has to do with distancing yourself from somebody. It's also an energy I feel where there's could be somebody uh, at a distance. You could have a person who's at a distance here. Maybe you've, and it's possible too, some of you may have taken a break, taken a trip, you know, to kind of heal, to clear some things out, clear, you know, clear your head, the thoughts that pin you down. So if you have taken a break or taken a trip somewhere, you may have connected with someone in another community, okay, or you have something long distance, but there it is, taking things to the next level. See, this is somebody here who's at a crossroads or at that time in their life, they are stable. So this is a person who's actually thinking about marriage and commitment. They find you attractive, sexy, charming, somebody who's focused on money, but also very gracious, somebody with a comfortable home. See? <laughs> Some of you definitely have had a situation where you were not comfortable with someone. Okay? I can see it. That's that moving on energy. But I feel like you got somebody here, and I also feel the lessons being learned before you take things to the next level with anybody. Take more time to get to know somebody. Okay, don't just leap into something because if you've taken a risk before, it's telling you to look at the risk you've taken in the past. But I feel like you have somebody with a little Aries in their chart. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they could have Aries. Um, yeah, they're definitely a king of pentacles. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that's their sign, but I do see some Taurus, how someone conducts themselves. It has to do with faith marriage commitment see you're waiting for someone who's your type you see somebody who's on that same level and as well as somebody who has your similar lifestyle the way you know yeah it's all to do with lifestyle i feel but wow this is someone who wants to take something to the next level they're at that time in their life yeah i feel they're <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I feel like you're going to take a risk. I feel like you're the one who's going to take the risk. I feel like you're open to this. Yeah, loving, nurturing, and kind. Some of you just want someone to nurture and care for. But it's telling you to look at the lessons you learn, okay, about looking before you leap, choosing your battles. I feel there's someone who feels that you're worth fighting for, okay? But it's you, too, I feel, that needs to look at something that's worth fighting for. Okay, choosing your battles, choosing your words, not just leaping and take a little more time to get to know someone. I see dating and courting. I actually feel like you're going to go for this, but it's giving you a little bit of a warning about looking before you leap. You definitely know what you want. I can see it. You know what you want. You've learned, right? You've learned about what it is you want, what you like, what you don't like, what makes you comfortable. You definitely want a comfortable home, a strong financial foundation. A happy home, happy life. So this is your intuition speaking to you here. But I think you're going to realize there is somebody around you that is your type. Okay, I feel they're around you. Now, they could be at a distance, could be online dating, but it could be someone who's just close by as well. Okay, for some of you. Tell me about this. Uh, you've been waiting, see, something you've been waiting for, someone who's your type, somebody uh, the same morals and values, somebody who wants commitment. Okay. So it's definitely some of you have gone through a healing with somebody who wasn't faithful. Yeah, so there it is. There's definitely a physical attraction. There's that wand waiting for the one. This could be the one. So this is where I feel like you're you know, throwing caution to the wind, living in the moment. <laughs> but it's telling you to look at the risk. Think things through. Don't rush in. Take more time to get to know somebody. There's that, that ace of wands, the choice. See, this could be the one. Yeah, you've got a king of swords. Ah, you may have some choices here. Now, the king of swords is often a person very wise, very logical, maybe educated. Okay, somebody very educated, someone who's logical. But it's also a person who can be, could be a person of authority here. And because I do see the judgment card is here as well. So, it's an energy whether someone's right for you or not. So it looks like some of you may even have some choices. But I feel like you have a person here who's uh, definitely finding you attractive. I feel they're kind of blunt. <laughs> They'll just kind of say whatever they say. Um, it just comes out the way they are. But it's often a person who can be a little cold at first. Okay. If you, 
you might feel something is a little off, you're not comfortable with it, just trust your intuition. It's going to guide you. I can see you being guided by your intuition to do with your financial stability, your house, your home, maybe even relocating, okay? So if you've been seeing someone, it's time to take it to the next level. So let's see what this King of Swords is up to. It's good. You may have a choice between two. So I definitely, uh, and it's possible you have somebody who tries to come back around. Okay, so watch that energy if you're no, no longer interested. But it really looks like you've already moved on. Yeah, so there is this is someone who wants to know if you're connected to someone here. They're very wise, very logical. So this is two people talking, communicating. I actually feel like you're going to be friends first. Okay, but this is two people going to share your your feelings, your emotions. So you're going to drink from each other's cup. Okay, or you're making a choice between two. But I feel something you've been waiting for. Your ship's about to come in. See, I feel the ship has sailed likely with someone else because you're already looking elsewhere. I can see it. Yeah, it's an energy of not waiting around for someone. Maybe you've waited for someone here. Maybe that's all the heartache is. Maybe they're invested in someone else while you're waiting. Yeah, but I feel like you're definitely the positive energy is while you're waiting, you're getting out and socializing. And that could be a message. Get out and socialize with people who are like minded, people who are on your path, similar lifestyles. OK, morals, values. Um, yeah, this is where I feel like you're headed. Now, this king of king of swords is going to be quite discerning. OK. I feel this is somebody here who's going to ask you if you're connected. I do think with the King of Pentacles, it feels like it's the same person, but it could be two. Um, but I feel here, if you have a choice between two, I feel like you're going to connect to somebody who's uh, definitely financially stable, somebody who's educated. So it has to do with like-minded, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you just know what you want here, Leo. Tell me more about the Queen of... I mean, this could be the other person. To be honest, this could be the other person. You could be the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, okay? Like I say, you can always flip the energy. This could be the other person, somebody who's an Aries. You see, there's that energy of justice and balance being fair. Someone who's just right. <laughs> it's an energy of manifesting. See, two people manifesting. There's definitely a Gemini here. Now, this could be, a, you may have a Gemini that's yourself, okay? where you have Gemini in your chart or they're man it's an energy of manifesting someone who has all the tools the information they already know everything they need to know so I feel someone's already checked you out in your social circle they've watched how you conduct yourself your your morals your values see very nice I feel like your ship's about to come in so if you do have a choice between two you're going to choose the person you connect with that you're just on the same page you just get each other Okay, where you just get each other. And I feel it's it has to do with someone you can be, just be yourself with. Okay, but we have a power couple. This is why some of you, I just feel like it's one person. Because I do feel like you've taken lessons, you've moved on from something. Maybe even relocated, yeah. You've made a choice, you're moving away from someone, you're moving towards a soulmate. Well, this is, there you go. Taking the lessons learned. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, you've ended a situation. So something has ended. You're trusting your intuition. It's over. Okay. Yeah, a little Scorpio energy there for some of you. But that ending is always a transition. So there's some kind of time in between while you heal. Okay. But also this is where you, have if you are that Queen of Wands and you have taken a risk before, it is telling you. Okay, don't rush into something, think things through, whether it's something worth fighting for, or going after. But I feel like it's the other person. This is someone who's likely going to talk to you. They want to know if you're connected, if you've ended something. So they have checked you out. They've looked the way you conduct yourself. Okay, so definitely there's an ending to do with that three of cups, to do with another person. You know, I think this person's going to be very discerning. I feel they're going to question you. They want to know. Is the person very logical? They may come across as a little sharp at first, but they're definitely attracted. So it has to do with choosing the one. This person sees you as somebody they really like. They, they see you as the possible one. And I feel like this, for yourself, I feel like you're going to see this could be the one. 
But I feel this person wants to know, so they know something. There may have been gossip and talk that something ended. I feel they've checked you out, the way you conduct yourself, and I actually feel that's likely vice versa. So trust your intuition, okay, about looking before you leap, okay? Yeah, see, making a decision. See, some of you have made a decision to end a situation with someone, or this person has made a decision to end someone with someone else. I feel like you're going to be on the same page with someone. I feel, see, this energy of uh, the Hierophant, your habits, your lifestyles, the way you connect, the people that are around you. you, you they're probably in your social circle, more than likely. It's here twice, so. <laughs> yeah, see, Hierophant, there it is. See, both checked each other out to see how someone conducts themselves, their morals, their value, the people they hang around with, the way they behave, how other people, you know, uh, how they talk and communicate to other people. I feel they're very educated, whoever they are. They're smart. Maybe that's something important to you. There's the aha. See, truth, success, victory. This is where I feel like, look at that Ace of Swords twice. Yeah, you're mirroring each other a little bit. You both want the same thing. You're going through the same motion. So there's the aha, the truth. See, the way you conduct yourself. It's an energy of having faith. See, waiting, having faith that something you're waiting for, you can have success. I actually feel like it will be. This is someone successful, okay? Both people successful, successful enough, grounded, practical, stable, okay? I feel like you're going to connect with this person, you know, two people wanting to build. Now, this could be a place of business where you work. Maybe they come to your place of work or vice versa, but they want to build. Something going to build between you and this person. It's two people here working together. You see, I feel like you mirror each other a little just in your thoughts, your actions, the way you're checking each other out. That's definitely there's been gossip about something ending. Now, maybe they ended something with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, maybe a Scorpio. Maybe that's what's happened here. They've ended or you have. So, yeah, Whew. endings bringing new beginnings. There's definitely a transition, a little time in between to heal. So do make sure you are healed. Okay, make sure you're over somebody. And I do see this choice in love. Yeah, yeah, see, there's been someone keeping secrets. So there may have been a third party. Someone may have kept some secrets from you. So there's that energy of the emotion, the fear. You know, it's about clearing things out. Yeah, so it looks like someone kept some kind of secrets. But I also feel there's someone who's secretly watching you. <laughs> Keeping things to themselves as well. Looking to see. I feel there's been gossip. If you've ended something, or maybe you're the one hearing the gossip. But there's been talk, I can see in the community, about an ending. Yeah, there's been competition, conflict, arguing, fighting, competition. This is someone who's definitely wanting to know if there is. Yeah, so there's definitely, that's, I feel there's an energy of things ending here. So I see you making a decision. It's telling you to be wise. Trust your intuition, okay? And maybe this is the way you're just feeling. You're trusting your intuition here, that it's time to end the situation. There's maybe a third party, too much competition, um, just chaos, drama, you know, a lot of talk. People are talking. <laughs> it's all right. Let them talk. Yeah. Let's see where you're headed. Yeah, there you go. So you have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who wants to build. So friends first. I feel like you're going to connect, get comfortable with each other. I feel like you'll both be able to just be yourselves. You see, two people wanting the same thing. It's going to take both of you to put in the effort, but they are going to date you. I see dating and courting. Absolutely. Yeah, so there you go. It's someone who wants to know if you're dating someone else, basically, because I hear they're, they're looking. I feel this person knows, you see, they know something. There's been talk or gossip. So I feel the decision is to go for it. They may have Aries in their chart. Yeah, they're a king of cups. Oh, yeah, this is someone who will level up quick. They're going to fall quickly. Now, I feel this is someone who sees you as the one. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, yeah, they are definitely not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. They are emotionally mature, too. This is what I like. So if you have a choice, it does look like there's an ending. And if it's not you ending something, it's another person. But I do see someone keeping secrets, okay? Someone who's keeping their feelings to themselves. 
you know, they know, they, they already know, I feel. This person already knows everything they need to know. And that's what I feel. They're manifesting. They have all the tools, the information. They already know <laughs> what they need to know. And I feel like you're in that same energy to a degree. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, see, you've had a night of wands. Somebody rushed in and rushed out. So there's been a lot of talk, gossip. See, somebody here who wasn't ready for a relationship, commitment, marriage. So, yeah, you know what you want. You want someone who, you know, comes in right, puts their best foot forward. There you are, healing. See, this is your self-releasing, making a decision. You know your worth and your value. Someone is seeing you as the empress. They see you. Okay, this is what they're seeing when they check you out. But I feel they know there's been drama, someone who rushed in quickly, chasing the passion and ran off. So they were definitely, I feel, something that was secretive, hidden. I feel like you already know. Okay, I feel you're releasing this person. I feel like you're good to go here. That's the beautiful healing. See, you're no longer giving. You're no longer reaching out to somebody. See, they're not reciprocating. They're not giving you what you want. So I feel like you gave. You gave to this person and sacrifice. Likely wasted a little time. And this is likely where you're going to go, aha. Okay, yeah. I think you're going to go for this other person here. You're, you're going to clue into this. You're no longer, this is someone who doesn't reciprocate. They rush in and out, stop talking to you. And I think you know they're reaching out to other people. There's talk, gossip, see, competition. The empress isn't competing because you have somebody better. Because you, you just know, right? You just know. See, the, that's why the Queen of Cups was here. Like I say, taking the lessons learned. Stop. Act, don't act like the wife till you're the wife. Stay in the empress energy. Friends first. This person will be friends first. They will keep seeing you. They're going to fall for you. Okay? There it is. Yeah. See, this is the person who isn't on the same page, your morals and values. So this is you being the empress. So you've learned the lesson to know, don't give. Don't give so much of yourself. Don't sacrifice, you see, for somebody who rushes in and out. It's an energy of taking things, I feel, to the next level too soon, rushing in. Okay? That's, I, I, I have to bring it up. It's here for a reason. Okay? Because this person's around you. They've checked you out. You see, morals and values, you know, lifestyle, habits, the way you conduct yourself. There you are moving on. You have a lot to offer. I see this energy of change, changing direction, changing course is what you're about to do. Yeah, I, I feel like you've got this lovely person. So let's, now they could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm seeing all the kings. So what I feel is you have a person who's leveling up, somebody emotionally mature, this person, not so much. They're not ready. It's a person who feels pressured. Maybe you offered too much, gave too much too fast, and they felt pressured and ran away. But they're just not on the same page. They don't want the same thing. This is someone still wanting to date. They probably cause a lot of drama, chaos, and conflict. <laughs> but I love that you're grounding yourself. Let's have a look at the King of Cups. What is? What can you expect from this person? Yeah, slow and steady wins the race. They are a little apprehensive, but they're emotionally mature. Taking things slow, friends first. Courting, dating, introducing you to their... They will introduce you to their friends quickly. They will watch how you conduct yourself around friends and family and social settings. Could be some, more than likely something that's already happened here. So there we have, see? This is someone who sees, see? This is their hopes and dreams. This is someone very hopeful. Okay, at first they may feel it's a little too good to be true, but <laughs> they're releasing that energy of moving slow. See, they're releasing the apprehension because they, so I feel this is someone who just sees you as the one. You know, they're going for it. This is something worth going after, fighting for. They will fight for this. Okay, they're not afraid of the competition either. If you have people around you, they're not afraid of the competition. Yeah, they're, they're definitely coming in here. They definitely see the hopes and dreams here. Uh, they're letting go of the apprehension. And I feel they're going to fall for you. I do feel too. Some of you are going to uh, let go of someone here who, like I say, rushed in and out, dragged their feet as well. I see both sides here. So I love these cards. I love to read both sides when the energy tells me to read both sides, both people's perspectives. 
So, you know, I feel like your hopes and dreams here. So it's about releasing things that no longer serve. See, it's about letting go of this person who rushes in and out, who's not ready. Okay, I do see you looking on the past with kindness, compassion, and just moving on. So you're already looking into the future. You're already, you know what you want. You're going out, I, and it even could be you. This is something not worth fighting for. This is something worth going after. I kind of feel like it's yourself. Do take those lessons. Don't act like the wife till you're the wife, or at least there's some kind of commitment. Whatever works for you, whatever feels right for you. But it's energy of not giving too much to someone who's not giving you what you need. See? Lack of reciprocity. One more card on the star for Leo. There it is. See? There it is. Keeping some of your feelings to yourself. That's the Empress. Okay? Being a little mysterious. Let this person want to come after you. So I actually feel you're, this is them. You're worth fighting for, but it could be you because I do see both perspectives there. But it's about thinking things through before you rush into anything. Okay? You may have rushed into something or rushed to assume this is somebody who... You know, because I feel it's a person who came in very fiery, very passionate, very charming. They just, this is someone who just chases after someone because they're attractive, you see. So I feel like you've learned some valuable lessons. Yeah, you've got an opportunity. There's the cup, a fresh new start. You're looking at the cup. I do think you're keeping some of your feelings to yourself for a little bit, being a little mysterious, which is making this person want to know. They're very curious. In fact, they're very logical, very wise. You see, but I'll tell you, they are going to, they will be friends first. They'll keep coming around. They'll take you out, date you, introduce you to their friends very quickly. And I feel like there's the fish in the cup. <laughs> I feel like you're a little apprehensive, but there's the cup. You're getting what you want. I feel it's telling you to just be a little mysterious and keep a lot of your feelings to yourself. Don't be overly emotional, okay? Don't give too much and share too much too quick. Let this person want to be curious, okay? Let them want to come after you. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So beautiful energy. I see success and truth. Someone who's your type, I feel. Someone who's on the same page. You're going to see the truth. This person, you're just not on the same page. I don't even think you're going to get really get each other. But it's also a reminder to you not to rush. Not to just throw caution to the wind to think things through. Okay? But yeah, see? And there's both people thinking things through. Neither you and this other person. This is the one that's going to disappear. Gone. Okay? And then here's this other person becoming decisive. So you're both sharing, you're mirroring each other. You're both in this energy of the, um, it's the seven of wands energy. You see, it's an energy of someone feeling very defensive. It's an energy of someone who comes in and pushes you away. Then they reach out. And this is something not worth fighting for. And this is. But I feel like it's this other person in that energy. I feel that they know there's talk and gossip. And that's how I feel they're gathering the information. They're learning everything they need to know. They are not going to let you get away. This, you're, they, this is someone who sees you worth fighting for. <laughs> so there it is. See? Someone tempering their... This is yourself too. Tempering your passions and being patient. See? If you're not patient... Little Sag energy. This is where you pull back and see things differently after a period of time, too. So this is someone different than your usual type. They're emotionally mature. They're stable. They're financially stable. They know what they want. They're wise. I feel they're educated. I actually feel like you're going to be able to communicate very well with this person. I actually feel like they're just your type. But they're different than this. On and off, back and forth. Someone who rushes in and out. Okay. So there you go. I love this energy. I feel like you're about to get what you want here. So get out there and socialize. It's telling you, socialize with like-minded people. If you have a place where you go and you keep meeting the same kind of person that place, it's time to go somewhere else, okay? To meet those like, be around like-minded people. Yeah, I, I feel like it has to do with morals and values, your lifestyle, the things that you're going to connect well with this person. I see a lot of talk you know, communicating, but I really feel like you're just going to be friends first. Lesson learned. Okay, and this person, if you friends say, let's just be friends first, this person will still run away. This person won't. They're going to you're going to have lots of dates with this person. Okay, before you take it to the next level, the physical lessons learned 
There it is. See, this could go somewhere. Beautiful energy. So it has to do with a change of course. It looks like you're going to have a change of course. If it's not you, it's the other person because you can flip it. But there it is, a person who's determined. See, they're emotionally mature. They're, they're mature, emotionally available. You see, they're in control of their emotions, not ruled by them. They're wise. They've learned, also learned a lot of lessons. So, yeah, beautiful. I wish you guys the best here because I do feel they are a little different. They're more mature, but they don't, they're not ruled by their emotions. It's telling you not to be too with the Empress. No longer ruled by your emotions, being grounded and practical. Okay. I, I feel like you're going to connect really well. I feel this will go somewhere, Leo. This really, it's a change of course. It's a beautiful, I feel this two people, this could change your whole world. Okay. I feel this is a person who's definitely calm and patient. Okay. Yeah, they've checked you out quite well. They're, and this is what this person's looking for. They're going to see that. That's why I feel like you've gone through some kind of healing. And I do feel like you have. Okay, because I do feel like with the Empress, you're open, just keeping your options open because of this energy. See, no longer waiting or wasting time. You're going to you're going to see this. But this is somebody here who sees how you conduct yourself. This is why they see you as the one something worth fighting for. So if there is competition, this person's not backing down. I'll tell you that right now. The only thing I don't see here is the King of Wands. But there it is. There's your, this is, this could be the one. A lot of passion. But see, friends first. They're going to go for that too. There you are. See, they find you really attractive. Be a little mysterious. Don't share all of yourself with this person. Just enough to entice them. They need, this is somebody who needs, okay, to be the one to take that leap of faith. So this is where you know when somebody comes in, and they're willing to take action, to fight for what they want, okay? That's when you know they're sincere, and I feel they are. And I any apprehension they're going to release, but I feel some of this is yourself releasing this other person who drags their feet, they come in and out, they push you away, okay? Yeah, there you are. See, they see you as the one. There you go. Your ship's coming in. Take your time, okay? Definitely, like I say, you might have, this person may come in first. You may feel they're hiding something. Something may feel off, but you keep giving to them. I feel like you've sacrificed, you gave. But I don't think you got, you're, you're getting everything you want or you're going to kind of wake up and go, aha, okay. I actually don't think this person's very faithful. If they are at a distance or they travel for work or something, I'm not so sure they're faithful. So take care. I wish you the very best. I'm hoping your King of Cups comes in soon, but they are different. So take a little time to look at this person and be patient, okay? You know, they they're going to fall for you fairly quickly, but they're mature. Take care. We'll see you soon.